So, what kind of crazy are you? You have to promise not to get angry. Why would I get angry? Because you're going to hell. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me something I don't know. They made a short, which I didn't see. I actually got the script first, like in a very kind of normal way through, you know, an agent. And there was something about it that I just fell in love with. I loved the characters. They were super rich and interesting. And I loved the way it kind of was sort of a new take on, on how, you know, a person would deal with grief or not deal with grief. And um, I loved it. So I basically started working with Brendan and Paul and we worked on the script and sort of in, you know, tried to like expand the world and you know make it very cinematic, and then we sort of started reaching out to actors and just really got lucky. I mean, you know, knowing we had no financing at this point, but Virginia Madsen fell in love with it, and then somehow, you know, I kind of over a very couple months period of time convinced William H Macy to come do this with us, and he's such a smart, like brilliant person and actor and director himself, and you know, great notes and everything so he was on board and you know piece by piece we just started putting it together um, and you know building this very cool experienced rich cast around Andy it was like it was I don't know it was like some kind of weird stars aligning I think heaven or hell people don't find out where they're headed until they die but I know where everyone's going I mean I think a lot of it is just being a crazy person like going Jim Gaffigan can only play this part like we will organize this day in our teeny tiny three ish week schedule our 21 day schedule to make it so he can come and do his work on a weekend and Milo Ventimiglia I had worked with before and just like he was the perfect Vince uh, Levin Raman was a new one for me she's gorgeous and amazing and has all these like rich layers that you've never seen before <music> because I'm the one who makes the decision. Evan, Evan, hell. Lobby looks good. The lobby floor is highest on my list of pre man nay duty, so I always make sure to spend a little extra. The scheduling was an issue for me. They just said, you're too bad for you. You gotta be there every single He's day. He's in every You're scene. there every day. Like, we had to have him every day. Um, <laughs> but it was short. You know, I yeah, think Justin yeah. Kirk convincing him to travel to Indianapolis was, you know, it was just like, you know, we're asking these people to come to work for no money. Yeah, that was um, huge. I mean, getting to travel to to Indianapolis with Justin. No. Just make the judgment. Yes or no? Up or down? Heaven or hell? But I can't. You judge everyone. Everyone living. And it was written. It was only you, and it was very much only like Walter, you know, making his way through Indiana to get to work, and and having this very important like Midwest backdrop and this very cool town of Speedway that had never really been shot in a feature and I kind of like loved it looks like a set it looks like it stopped in time right because you know we were only in Indianapolis for four days, uh, four days but all of that all of those exterior shots give the film such an interesting character you feel you have you have a strong sense of the environment that you're in, you know, and all that stuff was just a small, small portion of the actual shooting schedule. Yeah, nobody know. really knows the movie was shot here and, yeah, then, yeah. and then picked up there. Yeah. And uh, Greg, Justin Kirk's character, was not supposed to be in Indianapolis, but when I went to scout, uh, we just drove off the road into this, like, outside movie theater drive-in kind of place, and I was like, movie theater graveyard like it really is and like the final scene has to be here and somehow I would just like I, I would not give up on it like I think day 12 of shooting they're like you still can't do it I was like we are doing it like it's going to happen you're beyond fixing Walter can't get the girl of his dreams really what chance does true love have in this world hey tell me to just shut up if I'm crying or anything but the past couple days you've seemed a little off it's too scary to think about carrying anything. I, I don't think you can approach it that way. You can't, you can't build it up in your mind and say to yourself, I need to be, you know, I need to carry this entire thing. I need to make sure that all of this works. It's, I think it's just too much pressure. I, I think the trick of it is to take it scene by scene, day by day. You know, if you've got, if you've got a smaller role in a film, you still might have a day where you're in every scene. Maybe you're in four out of five scenes. Maybe you got two days back to back where you're in four out of five scenes. Um, those days aren't any different than if you're the if it's if people have to sit there and stare at your face for an hour and a half through the entire film. So 
I never tried, I tried to have more of a micro scope as opposed to macro and just focus on what are we doing today, you know, what are we doing this morning before lunch, let me just focus on that, let's get that right and just take it step by step, scene by scene. And before you know it, the movie's done. And then you're and then you're wondering like, what the heck did I do? I like, let's hope this turns out okay. I think we had a really great team that took like the pressure off that um, and just trying to like build a world where you could just be a character. Like, one day you get to go to work with William H. Macy, one day you're right. with Virginia Madsen, one day you're with Nev Campbell, one day you're with Jim Gaffigan and all these great like theater characters. It's like, you know, every day is different. You're the same character, but every day is different. Right. She's beautiful. Go away. Talk to her and I will. I don't think you have the balls. I've got plenty of balls. What's going on? Maybe if there's some free time after all the matinee start, I can buy you some junior mints or something. But you wouldn't have to eat them with me. They, they'd be a gift. Maybe after the matinee start, I can buy you some junior mints or something. Going to work every day and working with a different actor, many many actors that I that I grew up watching that I admired, you know, very much. Um, the cool thing about that is that each of those different people bring out a different side of Walter. You know. Walter's kind of a different person when he's with Dr. Corman than he is with Greg, than he is when he's with his mother, you know? Like, like we all are, you know? We all, we all tend to have sides of our personality that are, um, that, that are um, magnified when we're with certain people and, and, you know, it's the opposite when we're with other people and Walter's no different. So it was cool to, you know, spend two days with William H. Macy and see what he brought out of me, what he brought out of this character. Spend however many days with Virginia Madsen and see how this character, what, who this character becomes when he's with her, you know. Um, and you don't know, you know, and you don't, and you don't want to know. You don't want to plan that stuff out. You want to see what happens organically. <laughs> Start getting ready now. As soon as I'm done hugging you. We had a great time making this movie and we're really excited to share it with people. We've had some awesome audiences so far and the movie turned out so much more meaningful and emotional and funny and dramatic and cool, I guess, than we ever thought it would. So we're really proud of it and excited to share it with you. I can't guarantee that you're going to get a ticket to the afterlife if you go see the movie, but you're going to have a great time. It's an awesome movie. It's so much fun. Uh, I'm so happy with how it turned out and uh, it's unique. It's it's special. Just a, just a heavenly film. And if you don't see it, Walter <laughs> will judge you for it. Yes. You're all going to hell. You're looking a bit off. Not that you were ever a picture of on.